Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Adrian Broner says he just wants to knock out Amir Khan. Boom, stay tuned. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang, gang, notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Oh, man, you know, A.B., Auntie's Biscuits and Hauser Bush. Adrian the Problem Broner on his verified Instagram account. He put this this picture up. It has Sean Porter, Amir Khan, and Mikey Garcia. The caption reads: This year I, I will be crowned king again. And it starts with Omar Figueroa. April 21st. But after that, I want to get some get back at Sean Porter. And Mikey Garcia. These two guys, I can admit, beat me fair and square. No excuses. But I know I could defeat both of these guys. So good luck to both of these guys. And I hope y'all keep building y'all names. So when I come kick y'all ass the second time around, it will be that much bigger. And last but not least, Amir Khan. And then he tags Amir Khan. I just want to knock him out because it don't take much to do it. Plus, it will sell out over in the UK. So if Eddie Hearn want to make this fight, let's fucking do it. Now I respect all these guys, but like I said, 2018 is my year. Hashtag on my mama, AB. So he says he wants to knock out Amir Khan and it don't take much effort to do it. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it. Ain't no thing, but a chicken wing. Now, one thing, listen, on my channel, I'll keep it a buck. There's a lot of fighters, Broner being one of them, you either hate him or love him. That's how a lot of fans act. So they're not going to be, the ones that hate him aren't going to be realistic. They they call him a gatekeeper and stuff like, I, I wouldn't say he's a gatekeeper at this point. You know what I'm saying? There's still fights he can win. Can he beat certain guys? Who knows? You know what I mean? Like, but the bottom line is one thing you can't take away from Broner is the motherfucker got heart. He constantly proves time. Win, lose, or draw, he shows that he has a willingness to participate, call out, and fight some of the top names. You know what I mean? Even Maidana, a guy who beat him, you can say, oh, Maidana fucked him up, all that. He pushed for the Maidana rematch. Now, I mean, I, I don't fault Chino. Chino's one of my favorites. I don't fault him. He got two Mayweather paydays. You know what I mean? So, of course, he's going to take that over a rematch with Broner. And then he ended up retiring. But you can't fault Broner. Broner did push for the Maidana rematch. I remember at the time because I had a channel and I was still growing and making videos and stuff like that. Um, the fact that he's willing to fight Sean Porter, Mikey Garcia, guys who beat him in his, by his own admission, fair and square, beat him clean. I mean, that shows you something. I mean, he's really... He's, he's trying to get some get back. Now, you can say whatever you want about can he beat these guys even in the rematch. That remains to be seen, but looks like he wants to fight top names. Even the Omar Figueroa fight, I give him credit for that because stylistically, Omar Figueroa does enough of the right things that has always given Broner problems. Volume, pressure, good power, tough, you know what I mean, can take a punch, willing to dish it out to get his shots off. That's what's given Broner the most problems in his career from Daniel Ponce de Leon to Maidana to Sean Porter. Even Mikey Garcia used some of that Chino and that pressure blueprint. Pauli Malinaji, volume, even though he's not the biggest puncher, Broner had hopped up two weight classes. So I respect Broner for the fact that he he does, he's trying to catch a body, you know what I'm saying? He's trying to scrap with top names. Like I said, it remains to be seen if, if he can beat Amir Khan or something. Maybe Khan can outbox him. But the thing that's interesting with Khan is a lot of people aren't faithful in his chin. So he could be winning a fight outboxing someone. And if Broner has the power to sit down Sean Porter, then I think he has the power to hurt Amir Khan. Because Sean Porter has showed less chinks in his armor. I mean, you look at it. Even guys like Kell Brook and Keith Thurman, who are more established, known for 
power at the welterweight division. They didn't sit Sean Porter down, but Broner did. You can take it for what it's worth. That is an actual fact. So let me know what you guys think. Broner versus Khan is very appetizing. Um, I'm not sure how, how me personally, how much I'm into some of the rematches with the Sean Porter and Mikey Garcia because Mikey Garcia has a lot of options. Maybe Lomachenko, Robert Easter Jr. Me personally, I'm not too big on and keen on rematches happening unless they need to. Same thing with Sean Porter. He's trying to get, if he gets a rematch, he's trying to rematch guys like Keith Thurman, which was a fight of the year. You know what I mean? And it's probably a bigger payday for him because Keith Thurman has two belts and, and he'll get two belts versus if he were to rematch Broner. Broner don't have a belt right now. And Broner's considered a guy who hasn't really had too many signature wins at welterweight. So, I mean, I wouldn't blame Sean Porter if he chooses to pursue Danny Garcia if he gets past Brandon Rios or the guy with two belts at welterweight in a rematch in Keith Thurman. But the mere Khan fight, I like. If Khan gets past LaGreco and stops throwing water on people and stuff, or they, I don't know, throw water on Broner. That would be funny. You know what I'm saying? That would be a good build up. If this is the new con, if con is doing a little bit more of the WWE trash talk, let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Make sure you smash the like button as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego Sunday. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego the future of boxing.